Oh, you got a lot to say, huh? Yeah. Oh, they're not talking to me. They're talking to each other, huh, guys? Yeah. Well, I can't get a shot on them, but th this is the style of, this is the breed bird that came up into my yard and befriended me and nested in my nesting boxes. And whenever I sit out on the deck, he'd come out and hang out with me on the, on the deck, looking at me, making noises at me. I was like, oh, what the hell is this bird doing? Oh, wait, I think he likes me. I kind of figured that out when I saw he was nesting in my nest boxes over there. So I thought that was pretty funny. Yeah, I'm starting to turn into a bird whisperer since I've got time to hang out with him. Here he goes. He's way up there now. Like that hummingbird that I made a video about him nesting. Well, sometimes he comes hanging out with me down here when I hike. He followed me all the way up into my yard. So now I got a hummingbird friend. The other bird has been gone for several years now, so I think he's gone. So now I'm just replaced by the hummingbird that hangs out with me when I go hiking in the canyon here. Oh, there he is. I hear him. He's up there in the tree singing me a song, right? <laughs> okay, so. So today's date is June. No, today's date is July. It's like July 3rd or something. Oh, there he is. There's the hummingbird. He's coming over and saying hi. Hey, he just peeked around the corner at me. Come back. I want to film you. Tweet, tweet. Come here. Yeah. He does what he wants. The thing about birds. You can't trade them. They're like cats. They do what they want. Oh, July 2nd, 2022, today's Saturday. I say the date so that I can make reference years later. And go, oh, that's what this looked like back then, or that looked like. And the weather is perfect. Oh my God. While everybody's sweltering across the heat country in 100 degree heat. We got it having a nice summer here. I'm guessing it's about maybe 77 degrees in the sun. Sounds like a weird sounding squirrel making all that noise.
There's a squirrel. Well, don't stop chirping on account of me. Yeah, go right ahead. I don't care. Maybe I'm scaring off the predators. It's like, I think the predator's gone now. That weird looking tall thing. Scared it off. Hoping to run into here is because I walk up here to see if I get the hawk to come out and start screeching. He hangs out here in these big trees. See, isn't this a nice canyon to walk in? And when I started cleaning up the trash out of here, the neighbors started doing it too. Now there's not a speck of trash anywhere. I guess they saw me doing it. happens when I get up here. I don't know why the hawk gets spooked when I walk up here. It's like, I can't get anywhere near him. Can't he see that I'm slow and lumbering? I can't fly. Oh wait, I forgot about BB guns. Never mind. That's right, BB guns will scare him. That's a smart hawk then. Never mind. Hawk knows what he's doing. Yeah, kids probably come down here with BB guns and they know about it now. I don't know though.
Yeah, I got tomatoes this year. Today's is July 4th, 2022. And, uh, we're not having a barbecue because, well, we got too much food. And look at me, I'm too fat. So, no barbecue this year. We get, my mom gets meals on wheels. So she gets all this food delivered. So these things. That's fish. And this one is hamburger. So yeah. We got plenty of food. And that's the new fridge we got. I bought that used for 350 bucks. If you want to buy a new one, it costs 2000 It has the freezer on the bottom with the light. I don't know, I thought it was pretty cool. It's, uh, it was tested out. The core is good. It's got proper pressure. With plenty of refrigerant. The guys the guys who do these refrigerators get the used ones and sell them. They always test the core to make sure the pressure is proper and that's got plenty of freon in it. And if it does, they sell it. If it doesn't, they throw out the refrigerator. Or well, I mean not throw it out, they recycle it. Take to the scrapyard. Oh, I'm recording. Okay. I didn't know I was recording yet. Doesn't look like the crane is here. Or I'm not spotting it. I'm not remembering to look. One time I was noticing in my videos he's standing right there. And I didn't see him. So where's he at? hiding from me. There he goes, visiting me. Oh, there he goes. His nest is still here. He just dropped in, sang a song. Can you see it? Kind of hard to zoom in. Yeah, that's it. Big ball of spider web. So the nest is still. It doesn't rain here anymore. Lake Pal is all dried up now. Everybody's going, oh, there's no water left. So the nest doesn't get destroyed by the weather.
Lake Powell is starting to swirl, it's starting to circle as it drains down to nothing. But up in uh, Carlsbad, we have a water desalination plant. Take seawater, converts about 80 million gallons a day to fresh water using reverse osmosis. So yeah, here in the city, we don't need to worry about drinking water. We got plenty. But the farmers, on the other hand, they got something to worry about if that Lake Powell dries up, because that's where they get their water. And that's, a, that's where we get our food. Trash. And they're building more houses endlessly. We got new houses springing up in every speck of space there is. They're putting a house in it. Big two story houses, too. We ain't talking about little ones. Look at that. There. There's another one just built. Another one just built. This is all the past two years. I don't know what the obsession is. Is there like a company going around and talking people into putting a house in their backyard or something? I guess there is. I don't know. There he is. That hawk makes some serious weird noises, yo. You can't see him. I can see him, but I can't get him with the camera. He's in the pine tree. There he goes. There he goes. Man, he's good at hiding. See? And then, of course, the hummingbird's hanging out. That's a hummingbird. It's running still, right? Yeah.
pressure, keeping me company. No, it's not a thrasher, it's a woodpecker keeping me company. Holy smokes. We don't see that too often on this trail. Although the woodpeckers have been hanging out here in these trees here since the 70s, I know. And these trees only though, only right in here at these trees. They never leave the area. They never leave the area since the 70s. These eucalyptus trees get poked with holes. There's a hummingbird keeping me company. Singing a song. So I got plenty of background music. Got to have your rock and roll when you're hiking. So yeah, let's see how we go over to the eucalyptus trees. Oh, <laughs> there he is. He's over there screaming. Slowly, I keep doing that. I keep moving too quickly with the camera. Makes for a really crappy video when I do that. Okay, so I wanted to show you the holes in the eucalyptus trees. I don't know why they would want to peck on eucalyptus trees, but these woodpeckers peck on eucalyptus trees. Okay, I'm down by the river. These big ones here, they've been here forever. Well, there used to be more than that, but they've been building houses down here, so this field used to be open with mostly eucalyptus, not houses. Oh, they're gone. Oh well, I'm wrong. My memory is a little off. Huh. I see there's nothing. I haven't seen any holes at all. There were trees here that were full of holes from those woodpeckers. But that was a long time ago. My memory from that. Oh yeah, see there's some old holes there, right? Yeah, I like that. Yep. Oh, there we go. Where'd he go? There he is. I figured this might be where the hawk is hiding. Look at him hiding from me. Hey, that's antisocial, man. You're a bird. You're supposed to be sociable. Yeah, that's good. No 
screaming at me. Get out of here. I wasn't expecting you here. What are you doing here? See, and all this is in my backyard, too. There he goes. Over there doing his hawk bitching. It looks like it's having fun. That's why I like filming them. It looks like it'd be fun to be a bird, you know? A certain part of that that looks fun. You just can't say, oh, that's boring. Really? Are you sure? Boring to me hanging out in a hole in the ground like a rabbit or something. Or a mole. But a hawk? Oh, heck yeah, man. Check that out. These things bloom one time and then they die. That's a good one right there. There he goes. God damn. Caught me by surprise. Hey, there's another one new that went up new this week. There's one they just built. And there's another new one coming in. You can see the work on that one.
there right there. Oh, it's an extension. Yeah, those houses are unusually big. Two stories. Going in. There's some more. See, this right here, that's 1968. So is that one, but that one's been modified. That's what a house is supposed to look like. That's an original 1968 that has not been modified. Unusual to see one stay not modified. Property value will go up. The residence that's been there a long time. Usually don't do anything. It starts happening to a house when people want to flip them. They go, well, the property value is this, but it'll be a little bit higher than that if you just do a little upgrade, right? Now, instead of doing upgrade, we've got this whole new thing that's doing entire gigantic house on your property that one's attached <laughs> so. I know that's a 1968 house because the neighborhood that I came from when I moved here in 1977 had these houses these are cookie cutter houses their floor plan is all the same That house is the same. Yeah, several of my friend's houses back in Claremont. That's how I know the date of the house. I got that. I got the layout of that house memorized from when I was a kid. When you're a kid, you memorize shit for life. When you're an adult, you like forget everything. This is the extreme view. There's so much trees and stuff that's grown in now. You can no longer see Mount Soledad. You used to be able to see Mount Soledad from here. Right through there. That view is gone. Maybe you can see it from the roof. Yeah, if I went up on the roof, maybe I could see it. So I'm thinking about going for a hike, but yeah, I don't know. Just thinking at this point. The weather is perfect though. Oh my god. It's like 80 degrees with a 71 degree breeze. Nice cool breeze. Real nice. Looks like all the birds have abandoned me though. Just that one gold bird that I just now filmed. Yeah, there ain't much going on down there. I don't think I'll go. Maybe in a couple hours the birds will come back out. Those are the college dorms. They were built in sometime in the 80s. That used to be a parking lot right there. 
they literally just built dorms on top of the parking.
how long it took me. Just go all the way around. However long this video is. Which is, it doesn't say. Come on, I'm telling you. It's not saying anything. Oh, seven minutes. All right. Okay. And the camera's real hot from sitting in the sun. So I went down, all the way to the bottom, and back up. You like going. So what? That's no big deal. I could do that in two minutes. We'll try uh, burning the candle at both ends for 56 years. Then try it. <laughs> yeah. Most of my friends my age, they're dead or extremely handicapped. Okay, you see that? This is how we water in California. There's another one. I got those all over the property by way of the lines, you know. You can use plastic PVC, or you can use copper pipe, or you can use the rubber stuff. I put copper down there. When I was first confused by the coyote coming up here, you know, this is like 20 years ago. Chewing up the pipes really bad, you know. So, this is the way we do it. It's time to turn on the water. In California, water is very limited. So you need to water everything all at once. That way there's less waste. Here's, here's the lines going to my tomato plants. See what comes out here out of the wall. Got that hose coming out of the wall. I just drill, drilled a hole in the wall. And then brought the hose out. It dives underneath there. Comes out over here. I put it under the dirt. Comes out right there. Goes around and so on and so forth. All over the whole property. And it's controlled by one valve. And that's it. There, it's watering everything all at once. Could have been more than 20 years ago when I put that in. I'm trying to think. It was a while ago. Dang. Time goes by quick. Here's one spraying out. Right there. That's the water. What do you call that? You could. This is edible right here. It doesn't taste very good. You can eat that whole plant. It's just an herb. You can throw it on your hamburger or spice or something. Rosemary. That's it. That's rosemary. That stuff grows wild around here. But it's hard to keep up. It needs a lot of water all the time, so it dies very easily. And there's one spraying the and we got them all down here. Now this doesn't really water it very well. It's really not enough. It starts getting really dry. I got a little bit of the ice plant right there. A little more up here. So I planted a new ice plant several months ago right there. It seems to be doing okay. It's 
hard to get it started, yo. The ice plant goes dead easy. This one needs fixing. This is a little low on the tree. Hmm. going to loosen that up a little. Make sure there's no debris in there. There, that's better. See, now it's spraying out good. There's debris in there. Clogging it a little. So. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, I got them over here. All over the whole yard, actually. All in the front of the house, too. See, I put a little water on this. I just planted these this year. So the problem of the coyote coming down and chewing up my water lines was solved by putting axle grease all over them. Yes, you put axle grease all over your lines, suddenly they don't taste so good to the coyote. See, don't, you don't want to touch that line right there. Unless you like getting axle grease on you. And he came down here and chewed on this line right here. And then he never did ever again after that. Before he would just chew them all of them to pieces. Tiny little pieces all over the place. But you don't do that no more, you know. <laughs> Yeah, he thought I was putting those uh, these lines down here for him as a little chew toy. So I get to have dog pro uh oh. That one looks like it's not working. Better go over and look at it. Yeah, it's not working. Uh oh. Did he chew it? May have chewed it. May have found a spot. See what's he doing? See. No, there's still axle grease on it. It's just probably clogged or something. Yeah, it's just clogged. What the hell? It's not coming through at all. But it's trying to. No, no water for you guys. These are my new ice plants I just put here too. You see they're flowering nice and happily. Now they're being deprived of water. No. Yeah. Well, sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. Wait, it's starting to come through. Well, I'll just leave it like that for a few days. Where do I put this in the meanwhile? If I just leave the top off of it. Maybe it'll work through all that crap that's probably in there. Oh, it's 
put it in my pocket, otherwise I'll lose it. Yeah, I'll just let that seat. There's one down there, and that one seems to be going good. That one is the furthest away of all of them. Yeah, so. And this one, they don't sell these anymore. This one here, that sprays like crazy all over the place. I want that one again. Oh, there's Hummers. Putting on a show. Well, he's done singing his song. For me, right? Right. Hummingbird world. In the hummingbird world. And they come up to you and glance at you for one second. To them, that was like an hour. So for him to be there like that for three whole minutes, wow. That's some serious visiting going on right there. Okay, July 14th, 2022, and there's not much going on today, other than great weather, sunshine, and hummingbirds, of course. He's up there chatting away. Just the way I like it, you know, not much going on.
this distance looks like a leaf. I guess these are their play trees. Because these eucalyptus are not blooming right now. There's a leaf. Oh, leaf flew away. Come back here, leaf. Oh, there he is. The leaves just won't stop moving. Okay, let's go see if the hawk's down here, shall we? This is hummingbird land right here. And then over there, I don't know if the hawk's going to be here. There's crows patrolling the area. Crows don't like hawks. But usually the hawk hangs out in that tree. Uh, the one way over there. Let's see. Now, just because there's a dove sitting there, I found out in the past. <laughs> Listen to me, he's talking. I found it in the past. That doesn't necessarily mean there's not a hawk around. Yeah, you'll agree, huh? Oh, there he goes. You're not leaving count of me, are you? He's like, no, I see bird seed over here. I stayed in the tree. Huh. Okay. And there's a woodpecker. Where'd he go? That was the hard one to get. I think I posted the video where I uh, caught a woodpecker right in front of me. I had my camera on and everything. I thought maybe it was a thrasher. Yeah, I posted that video. I think it's called uh, Baby Birds, something like that. Or no, it wasn't. Never mind, it's not in that one. Right, I posted it, it just has a date on it, 7-7 is the name of the video. I think.
I haven't even looked at my own video yet. A lot of times I'll just throw videos up on YouTube because... Nope, nothing. And he must be way over there then. Which I'm not going over there today. I can't keep going over there. Even though that's city property on the bottom of the hill, but a lot of times homeowners consider that private property. So it's okay to go over there once in a while. But you don't want to be going over there all the time. These guys up here, they might know me. I found when you live in an area long enough, even though they don't say anything to you, they actually know who you are. Especially with social media today. Found another leaf. Oh, it is a leaf. <laughs> oh, wait. No, that's a leaf. Oh, there's a leaf falling at me. No, that's a hummingbird. Are you a leaf, huh? And there's one busybody leaf. Okay, here it is about eight minutes, no, about seven minutes later. And another one. There's a lot of them today. Today's Sunday, July 17th. Oh, seems like a lot of planes to me. We suddenly got a cool windy breeze. It was fixing to get all hot today. And then the clouds came in and got breezy. So it's not hot at all. No, I don't think it was even seven minutes. It felt more like three minutes. Give me another one. Here it comes already. I guess the airports aren't going to let the, uh, the Dingleberry BS story slow them down anymore. Are they getting tired of that, maybe? Finally. Nah, it can't be.
I like that for a sunset. Wow. Let's see. <laughs> well, I haven't seen that sunset there in a long time. It's pretty nice. Yeah, disturb the birds evening meal. Tomatoes coming up. What do you think? Yeah, it looks a little misty and cool right now. Today's date is July 18th. Yeah, it's a hot one for the whole country and even all the way over into Europe and everything, but here it's not so bad. Hasn't been so bad. It's been really nice. It's been a good summer for here. Of course, I'm on the coast, so that's why. You see, you can see we got a little bit of water around. All the plants. Now it's about 78 degrees. Absolutely perfect. Uh, I gotta trim these bushes. They're blocking the view. <laughs> That's annoying. These trees I won't, I won't trim. That's nice. It's like a little fort in here, sort of, I guess. Like a little tree fort. I'm getting ideas because of the location of the sun. I'm kind of digging that. Oh, I weigh 190 pounds now. I crush everything underneath me. Ah, ah, there you go. It's even better. Sasquatch down there. My camera can see what I can't. Oh, that looks like somebody's standing there, but the camera is, can see. I can't see, it's too dark. Wow. Yeah, that car seat's been sitting there for like a couple of years now. It just moves every once in a while. Somebody moves it. <laughs> See, because when I zoom and I'm looking at this camera, I have to lean against the fence because I feel like I'm going to fall.
That's the sunset at the house. Just checking it out. So nice out here. And they're just building these box houses like crazy. Everybody wants some, wants those things, I guess.